This clip's going to explain how we can use Atlas to better understand some of the AX data we're looking at and reporting on. I'm going to start first of all just by opening up the definitions for this. This is a structured list report. We can see this is based on the table which is the customer invoice journal. So if I wanted to start just by understanding some of the fields and checking the data within the customer invoice journal table, well, I just select that table in my interface, I right click, select browse. This will then view the default fields for the underlying table. These are the default fields, but they can be modified. So when I click on modify, Atlas just extends this view, which is an actual fact, an Excel workbook. It allows me to modify the, col the columns, so I'm just going to remove the invoice account and I'm going to add some of the dimensions. So I'm going to add the cost center, the custom department, and the department. Click update, and we can now see these fields accordingly. So often when we're doing reports or producing our reports, if we see data that doesn't make sense, or if we have issues with dates, this is one of the first things we will do so we can understand what the underlying data is. Second thing is we have a list of our tables in our data sources. These are the labels as seen by the end user within AX. There are of course behind each of these tables a system name, which is if you like the technical name, but which is consistent throughout all the AXs. In order to open the view for the system name, just click view, show system name. And the system name will now appear for the relevant table. So you can see that where you have occasions where you have the same table name or what appears to be this table name when you view the system name you can actually describe and understand the differences similarly if I now go to the filter you can see that we have filtered based on customer group which is in cell C4 if I click on my fields filter based on group we can see and identify that there are several fields with the word group and there's actually two customer groups or group which I've selected and one field called customer group. So if you're looking at these fields and are uncertain of the relevance and reference to each, bottom left hand corner there is a tick box which allows you to view the system name or the technical name and here we can identify that in actual fact this is the customer group that we require. Having selected that, if I right click I can actually look up values directly from the table. So in this case we've already linked this to cell C4. I'm just going to remove that reference, right click, table lookup, and this now looks at all the customer groups within this table. I can then select and pick the customer group from this table and update accordingly. This is effectively now hard coded, but again it gives you an idea and an option how you can use Atlas to view the underlying data in a table. And lastly, as we're discussing tables, your list of data sources will be presented to you, normally with about 49 standard tables. There are, of course, many more tables within AX, including your vertical or customized tables. Atlas allows you to add them quite simply by clicking on Add Table. I'm just going to search for a table beginning with the word Bank. This now searches through all my AX table architecture and I'm going to identify a table called Bank Deposits. Just so we can see this is not currently located in our list of tables. So I select Bank Deposit, I click Apply automatically it appears at the bottom of the list within this interface but when I close this interface for the data sources my data source has been changed and amended and as we clicked OK we can now see that bank deposit has appeared within this table we can now browse this table and we can now report from this table